Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, what's going to happen for you in the immediate future. Okay, so we're looking at, say, you know, the next 24 to 72 hours. What can you expect to unfold? It is going to be a general reading, but if you are after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, take a look and let's see what you can expect within the next couple of days. I mean, you've got some interesting cards here. You do have, you know, some major arcana cards and major arcana cards are very powerful cards, right? You've got some things going on here, which I feel are, they're huge. Okay. They're, look, they could be a bit unexpected. They could be unplanned. Okay. Um, they could take you by surprise, but you've got a lot of things happening in the energies here. A lot of things, which I hope you're prepared for because um, there's some really big things, exciting things as well happening for you. Okay, I mean, I do mean huge. I mean like endings, and I mean new beginnings, and I mean surprises, and I mean uh, you know new new people, new connections, um, new chapters, new cycles. That's not to say it's all going to happen within, you know, it's all going to be like jam-packed and it's going to happen within the next three to four days. I mean, for for some of you watching this, yes, there could be a lot of things that unfold over the next three to four days, which are going to be very big. Some of which are going to invite chaos into your world, okay? Um, things may go in shambles. Um, some things might have to fall apart to come back together again, that kind of energy. Um, but I do mean that there's a lot happening in the energies here. And I feel like there's something here that's it's kind of reaching boiling point or it's kind of reaching its culmination, which is really interesting. Um, first and foremost, I feel like there's some sort of apology coming in from a connecting energy. Could be a romantic energy. Um, I just feel like what, what feels really interesting. Um, it might not be someone whom you've had a, you know, a, a fight or an altercation with or a disagreement. I mean, it could be you could have had this, you know, massive fight with this individual and you kind of both went your separate ways um, or you're both not talking to each other. Um, but it feels like there's some sort of apology that is being, being owed. Um, it could be you. You could be the one offering up the apology. You could be the one um, explaining yourself. Or this could be someone in, someone that is coming in with an apology, someone that wants to make things right with you. Okay, someone that feels like um, someone that feels like you know they owe you an apology. They they want to set things straight with you. Okay, and this is someone who I feel like has been losing a little bit of sleep. Okay, so if you've had a disagreement with someone, if it's a romantic energy, if it's like a, a sibling, um, a friend, just a connecting energy, uh, this person is troubled, okay? They, they, they're feeling and they have felt bothered by the fact that right now you guys aren't necessarily on good terms. So expect over the next few days to, you know, you're, you're going to be straightening things out. You're going to be sorting things out. You're going to be straightening things out. Um, you're going to be trying to make things right or someone here w wants to make things right with you. Um, but it could also be, for instance, it could also be you, okay? You may have some things going on that you're going to pay close attention to in your life and you're going to want to straighten these things up, okay? Um, maybe right now, you know, your mind's a little, a little, a lot like a mess. Uh, maybe, you know, things are a little messy in certain areas of your life. It's like you're cleaning things out. It's like you're straightening things out, you're cleaning things up. Um, you know, you're, you're straining things, you're organizing things, that kind of energy. You're tying up loose ends. Um, someone whom I feel like you haven't necessarily heard from in a long time or you haven't spoken to or you haven't necessarily connected with, I feel like it's going to show up out of the blue. Okay, magician's energy. Someone is showing up, someone who has fallen off your radar. Okay, someone whom I feel like you haven't seen this person or you haven't spoken to this person in quite some time. Could have been days and that might be unusual for you. Could have been weeks, could have been months, could have even been years. This is someone who I feel like is going to sort of just, you know, show up. 
just unexpectedly out of the blue um this could be also an individual who's ghosted you okay so someone who's ended a connection with you abruptly someone who's ghosted you and i see them just sort of yeah resurfacing okay um they'll want to they'll want to start communication back up this could be the very individual that might want to be straining things out with you okay someone who feels like they owe you an apology someone who feels like they owe you an explanation or possibly this is you you know demanding that explanation or demanding you know um them taking accountability if it is someone who's ghosted you i also feel like there's this energy of like with the magician's energy i feel like there's someone here pulling a rabbit out of a hat so to speak you or someone close to you could be solving some sort of problem um, or you just sort of you're doing something unexpectedly and which is just going to help you achieve something so you yourself or someone very very close to you is pulling this rabbit out of a hat okay a problem gets solved something gets done unexpectedly um, it works okay this what, whatever it is and you know you don't have to necessarily know like you don't need to know the magician's trick to appreciate the magic right so you don't necessarily, it might just be a fluke, okay? It might just be accidental. Whatever it is here, it works out, which is great, right? It's always great. Um, something that you thought ended for you, you'll find out that there's a new beginning. So if you have ended something or are about to end something, if you're like literally on the edge, on the verge of a precipice of ending something, what do I mean? You know, could be a relationship, okay? You might be heading into ending a relationship. You might be heading into ending a connection or a friendship, or you could be fi literally finishing something off here, finishing off, um, you know, uh, your work, a work position, finishing off with your, uh, you know, with a company. Um, your, you could be finishing off studies, a degree, a diploma here. Whatever this is, it gives rise to a new beginning. It gives rise to a new chapter. So for some of you, maybe, you know, you left a job without necessarily having anything else lined up and you're a little worried you're a little stressed which is understandable but don't be because i see there is something new on the horizon for you okay so something ends only for something else to begin again okay where there isn't an ending there is a beginning where there is death there is rebirth okay so it's just this you know it's the cycle of life right so something you thought ended it, it does end but it begins again something else begins in its place um and it just feels like it's a really good feeling for you. Whatever this is, like, for example, it might even be like a romantic relationship. Maybe you thought this thing, you know, this connection, this relationship you had with this person ended, okay? And then maybe this is something that you've always struggled to accept. And just as you've accepted that, all of a sudden, you know, voila, this person pops out of nowhere unexpectedly and they might want to start things back up with you again. Or it could be that, you know, you ended one relationship and what you've done is created room in your life for a new person to enter. So whatever it is that you thought, you know, you've en has ended for you, all of a sudden will begin a new chapter for you. And that feels very exciting. And on top of that, it just feels like you're ready for it. Okay, now we're not going to ignore the elephant in the room, which is the tower card. And that's interesting because for some of you, it is, you know, it's exactly that. It's a tower okay it could be a tower moment it could be a tower situation okay it could be a person that is gonna you know um bring in a storm with them it does feel like there's some sort of tower moment so look you could expect a tower moment but not all storms are the same are they okay um some last a little bit longer some aren't as you know ominous or threatening so you know, depending on whatever this is, there's varying degrees of this tower moment. So for some of you, it might not even be that bad. Okay, you'll just have to write it out, this tower moment, whatever it is. You know, what could it be? It could be like a fallout with a friend. It could be, um, I don't know, some sort of discovery or revelation, which might shock you. Okay, might take you by surprise, might stun you. Um, something he could end, something he could fall apart, something could become exposed. You know, a truth. Uh, a lie you know gets dragged out into the light um, and you begin to see that you know that lie or that person for who they are whatever this is there could be a tower moment it could be more than a, you know more than just one tower moment that you might experience it could be like a few little mini tower moments one after another it could be one big one it could be like a mediocre tower moment but there is something unexpected something that I feel like is it's just not part of your ordinary world, okay? It's not part of your ordinary life. 
And it's a little unwelcome, it's a little uninvited, so it's not here to stay, okay, because all of storms pass, but expect some sort of tower moment. But the good thing about the tower moments, okay, it's like they're not all that bad, okay, because if you take a look at the imagery and what's going on here is that, you know, the lightning, which is a sign from divine intervention, right, lightning strikes, it hits the tower, the occupants flee out of the tower. Now, the reason why the tower crumbles is because it's not sturdy enough, right, the foundational structure on which it's built on. It's not healthy, it's not sturdy, it's shaky. If it was, you know, healthy, if it was sturdy enough, it would not have crumbled. So, you know, whatever it is that falls apart or whatever it is that gets exposed here is, you know, is exactly that. So it's built on a, a false tower or it's built on a tower of illusions. Okay, had it not been, it would not have crumbled. So whatever this is that comes apart or whatever it is, I feel like, you know, it gives you a chance to see someone or something for what it is or it gives you a chance to renovate so whatever comes apart can be put back together and it can be put back together in a better way okay so it's actually a blessing in disguise i know it might not feel that way but it is a blessing in disguise whatever it is that happens here um there's something here you need to let go of there is something here you need to let go of and um, it could be something big, like it could be a relationship that you, uh, you know, you have outgrew or you're outgrowing. It could be, you might need to let go of something. It could be like a habit that is holding you back. Whatever it is, you need to let this thing go. You know what it is, because whatever this is, whether it's a person or whether it's a habit or whether it's an addiction, you're holding on too tightly. Okay. Um... So without going into too much detail, there's something here you need to let go of. I, I, You know what it is, okay? At least for those that do, you know, resonate with the message, will know exactly what they're very, you know, stubborn about and resistant to. to it could be like, you know, you're resisting change or you're, you're resisting to let this person or to let this thing go. Um, let go. Let go and see what happens is what I'm trying to say, you know? If it's yours, it will come back. If it doesn't, maybe it was never meant to be. I see online communication. I see a lot of online communication over the next few days or a lot of digital communication. So a lot of texting back and forth, a lot of phone calls maybe. Um, if you do have a business, there could this could be like a lot of overseas clients uh, or there's a lot of interest from overseas um, that's being generated. You potentially could start, you potentially could connect to someone online. So if you're on a dating app or, you know, if you're on like, um, I don't know, even like social media, um, you know, Instagram, anything like that. I feel like you're connecting to someone, but this person feels like you're either connecting to them via online, like, you know, via online platform. So whether it's a dating app or whether it's social media, or this person is overseas, like they're at a distance from you. I see travels. Okay. Over the next few days, I see there is some, some talk of travel. So um, you potentially could be starting to look at traveling. It could be as early as later this year. It could be as early, you know, as next year. It could be, you know, it might be months from now. It could be days from now. It could be that you're booking. Okay. You're making a booking. Maybe you're, you're talking plans over with the travel agent. Uh, maybe you're purchasing tickets. I don't know. I just feel, uh, you know, you, you might land a job in which you might have to travel overseas or there may be a lot of traveling involved. I don't know. I just, I see travel in the cards for you. Um, and even if you don't plan on traveling, guess what? Guess what? It's in your cards. It's in your future. So that will definitely, um, surface. All right, guys. And these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.